everyone, so today I'm doing a gymnastics tutorial on um, a forwards walkover. So, yeah, these I find are quite simple once you know how and stuff. So I'm going to do two demonstrations, one facing forwards and one facing a diagonal. So yeah, this is how it should look. I'm going to do it on a diagonal. The most important thing you need to know is to keep your legs straight instead of bending. Because if you bend, it looks a bit messy like this. It doesn't look so good. Obviously, that's a bit exaggerated, but it would look like like that. Like that. It doesn't look nice. Also, you need to point your toes. If you don't point your toes, again, it looks quite messy. Here's the difference between pointing my toes. And this is not pointing my toes. You can't really do it if you don't put your toes. It doesn't look really good and it's really hard to kind of smoothly go over. So to be able to do a forwards walk over, you really need to be quite good at your handstand, interbridge, stand up. You're going to need really good core muscle strength in your stomach area. Now you can just do simple exercises just to get that good muscle strength, muscle strength in your stomach. Um, Sit-ups really do help that, I find. So you can do those up to this. So you need to be able to do a simple handstand, bridge, stand up. So that's just really simple, it's just like so. Um, basically you want to be able to land in a bridge without collapsing because if you collapse when you're doing that, then you're more, you're really likely going to hurt yourself when trying forwards walkover, especially since you're landing on one foot and you're kind of halfway and you're just going to collapse and everything's just going to be like a big mess on the floor. So um, they're pretty simple. You can go look up other tutorials on how to do a bridge stand up on YouTube. But yeah, um, I also recommend being able to do back bend stand up. So just. like so. Um, once you get really good you can just do a few. So you can just go now I find that that builds your good muscle strength as well. Okay so the actual once you can do all that um, then I guess you want to know how to do the walkover. So I always 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 start with my hands in the air and my toe pointed, whichever one feels more comfortable to go into. Personally, I'm not very good on this leg, so I always go for this leg. Now you don't want to start with it in the air because that's kind of harder because you have to switch your leg around and it's kind of tricky. So you just want it there. Your hands will go down and the leg that is not pointed out in front, so this one here, will go up. And you'll kick and you'll land like this. One foot should be in the air. Now, if you try to do this really slow, you're just not going to be able to pull yourself up. Um, so, you want to do it quite fast. Because I'll show you what happens when you do it slow. You, you tremble backwards. So, when you complete the forwards walkover, to know you've done it properly, you should land with one foot in the air or just raise slightly above the ground. It doesn't need to be up here or anything. It can just be simply here. It just makes sure it's off the ground. Else it will look like this. And that is definitely not a forward to walk over. Plus skilled. So when I come up, I always have this foot, the one that I started with pointed, will always be up when I finish. <laughs> Don't know if you saw that. So yeah. You just want to keep trying and trying. Make sure you do it on a soft surface or a mat if you're not really sure. And when you get really good, you can do several in a row. So yeah, thanks for watching.